reminder of our top stories this hour. Hong Kong Chief Executive Kerry Lam has expressed a deep regret at what she called interference by foreign parliaments. She said the government would not allow the U.S. to become a stakeholder in the city's matters. She also called on the people to reject violence. Meanwhile, authorities have released the snapshots of the security video from an MTR station as part of efforts to quash rumors that protesters were killed as riot police stormed Prince Edward Station on the 31st of August. Now, for more on this, we're joined by Professor Ho Lok San, adjunct professor at Lingnan University. Uh, firstly, Hong Kong police, let's talk about them. They're trying to get to grips with protesters and their tactics. On Saturday, they prevented protesters from blocking access to the airport, but then chaos reigned on Sunday as protesters burnt makeshift barricades and vandalized the central MTR station. What's your take on, on how they've been dealing with protesters? Yes. Uh, I think uh, the, uh, the police have uh, learned uh, uh, to deal with, uh, for example, this airport uh, barricade. Uh, uh, there was no uh, issue. Uh, with the airport uh, during the weekend, uh, even though uh, the protesters had uh, warned that they would uh, barricade it and uh, prevent, you know, uh, just block uh, access to the airport, you know, by by uh, just uh, jamming the airport with all all the uh, so-called passengers, you know, but uh, they are stopped uh, before they could actually uh, access the, the inside of the airport. Um, Professor, I want to um, ask you a quick question here. Do you think the authorities have perhaps maybe given a clearer picture or definition of violent versus peaceful protest? Do you think the public is convinced that there are two very distinct categories of protesters? Because there seems to be on one hand very peaceful protesters and on the other hand very violent ones. Yes, I think uh, people understand that there are two kinds of protesters. Uh, however, um, as far as the police are concerned, um, uh, you know, when you have uh, such a huge crowd um, um, on the side of the violent protesters, uh, it's very difficult for the police to distinguish who is who. And in any case, uh, it's quite evident that the, the huge number of uh, uh, peaceful protesters around, the violent ones, uh, would uh, embolden you know, the, the, the rioters, so that, uh, um, in a sense, uh, the police would uh, may see them as uh, sort of complicit, you know, uh, in, in the riots, you know. Uh, so, but this is quite unfortunate. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, there are um, uh, lots of uh, uh, protesters who do not uh, buy this violence. Well, Kerry Lam has called on protesters to renounce violence. Do you think that's going to gain any traction? Well, um, it's difficult to believe that uh, uh, the, the violent ones will stop the violence so easily. Uh, as far as they're concerned, you know, they, they just want to, uh, as I had used the term, hold the society to ransom, you know, just to, to make sure that, uh, that things will uh, be very uneasy on the part of the government and on the part of society in general so that uh, they are hoping that it, uh, in the end, the government will, will give in uh, to the demands. But um, I think uh, this is really uh, a, uh, an illusion. There's just no chance that the government can go beyond uh, agreeing to withdrawing the, the extradition uh, amendment bill. So what happened to the veteran um, moderate pro-democracy politicians, any sign of them stepping up and bringing the moderate peaceful elements among the protesters to the discussion table with the authorities now? Yeah, uh, that's my hope. But um, uh, again, I am not too optimistic about that, you know. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, many of these uh, so-called uh, pandemocrats, they have so far refused to so-called um, uh, you know, cut this uh, 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 ties or with the uh, violent ones. You know, they they don't want uh, to. You know, they they want solidarity, so to speak. You know, instead of uh, um, uh, 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 you know calling them a different kind of people. You know, they they also want the support. You see, and uh, they just sense that if they. Uh, uh, distance themselves from the violent ones, they, they, they somehow 
could lose uh, our votes, you know, in the coming elections. Right, we're going to have to leave it at that. But thank you very much for sharing your insights. We've been speaking with Professor Holok Sang, adjunct professor at Lingan University.